Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Difficulty Day 773 and it is time for us to get and eliminate all of the seat carriers. We could do that with three units but I really want to showcase uh, the team and we're okay on requisition at the moment. Might dump some into it if we're finding good loot. We do have the range team. We're using the normal stratagems. If you're interested in the loadout, I've gone through that uh, in detail at the end of the last mission. That's potentially the last time that we're going to see the ranged uh, fire support team. So give it up for the guys and uh, let's go. All right, time for some good old fashioned ass kicking. Appears in fine condition. Are you quite sure your prognosticars detected signs of the bloom within? Certainty. Minister of Communications have been silenced since our arrival. This edifice stands as a tribute to our righteous emperor. Brothers, we must remove these foul seeds from wow. this holy... Wow, that's a nice map. Haven't been here so far. Sicaria. 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 Purple seed the seat that we've been waiting for all day every day okay well there's the first team gotta be careful here long ranged uh, firepower over here ready to serve we're going here I am here to serve. I stand. Good. At your command. Time to kick in the door. Kick some ass and chew bubblegum. As Duke Nukem would say. Silver Knights. <laughs> yeah, Silver Knights. Indeed. Quite the Silver Knight here. Beautiful. I am here to serve. Good. Listen, this is a very decent start, uh, but maybe not as good as it could be. Uh, frag grenades. They, on the other hand, are as good as they can be. I have another idea. How about a little bit of teleportation <laughs> behind enemy lines? Having way too much fun with this game. It will be done. There you go. We have Eat hot boaters. Unleash me! Moves into a better place, then frag grenades. Well, this, of course, would be an option. Uh, that would be a fantastic option. Removing the armor. Uh, this would push them back. It's kind of almost the same. Let's not push them back. I like them clustered up. The holy hand grenade of the Emperor. Yep. I tell you what, now that you are so wonderfully exposed, let's get you down, disable the ranged weapon, and we might even get another AP out of that. Yep, 
There we go, got another IP. Fantastic. Which then could bring us into a nice little frag uh, grenade Reno here. Okay, well, we do have that Your orders. in the back of our mind. Bolsonaro. We're moving yes, up. Psychic Onslaught uh, would kill one of these guys. I like it. Support fire helps with the other one. Glory to Zypos! Another massive hit. Into a beautiful kill. Free reload. Death is our creed. And we got ourselves a free action. And given that we can't really hit anything from where we stand, we might as well use our only grenade just to finish this guy off. Nice. Very good. My blade is yours. Seeking the tainted. Move up. Disrupt the skull. Just to deal a nice amount of damage. Fantastic, good disruption. And this should be a kill. It is one. Another shot, thanks to our enormous range. That's a great little hit there. Yes, Commander. The Emperor lights our path. We can just hit him. If he parries, that's fine. We have three hits. He can only parry one. Another battle ends in yeah. yeah, this team works. And it started to work much better. Moving swiftly. Standing ready. It's not as flashy as uh, the kind of melee madness or ball of doom or whatever you want to call that uh, combination where you're having like a single character that's just overloading everything. But it is an okay combination and I really like the, the, the way that it plays. Yes, sir. Good, end of turn. Good. Sure. All right, that big boy is a problem. We don't like the big boys. We like the smaller ones. I bring death and decay. He indeed brings death and decay. Enemy I think no him. one. No one really doubted him when he said that. But 
but you also bring uh, bloom seeds. Another foul seed. Fantastic. Flame. Good. And it is a foul seed. I will give you that. But uh, these guys nice. here need to be armor shred. There's nothing better than a whole hand grenade to do the job. Yes. Let your wounds fester. There is nothing better than a holy hand grenade. Um, you know, it's actually a really decent amount of damage for someone who is so heavily armored. <coughs> These grenades are the perfect counter. Trying to not pull the pack up there. Good, so we're in. Let's start here. All right, my guy. You know what, we don't need all of our actions might as well be this guy. This might already be level up, right? Maybe. I haven't seen a single level up so far. Let's end our turn yeah. because I want the support fire to kind of re uh, rearm itself. We don't have any buffs running at the moment. Engaging nicely with the next pack. That is not very nice. These heretics will suffer the ultimate punishment. Yes, which is a crack grenade. We bring death. <laughs> nice, good hit. Lovely. Give me the seeds. The purple ones are particularly valuable in this campaign as uh, we seem to have a problem obtaining I them. I the seed from this rot. All right, here we go. Well, hello there. Uh, very well. I sir. 
Oh, return fire. I was not aware that that happened. Else I would have disrupted him. But okay. This one will fall. We were in full cover. So. Another one down. Really nothing happened there. Nice, yet another crit. At your command. How about you? Another battle ends in triumph. Raise the Emperor. Seeking the tank. Good, we have one more engagement. Taking that middle high ground. We're immobilized, really? Well, I tell you what. You're no longer immobilized. I am with you. I like that Aegis Shield combination. Waterman. Seems to work yes, out sir. very well. I am here to serve. Like the big boys. I like them big boys. Oh wait, before anyone dies, give me the seats. The threat of the bloom has been contained, but I sense more of Nurgle's minions on the way. We should recover your brothers and my seeds. Okay, <clears throat> indeed more of Nurgle's minions are coming. Another seed. But nothing that a holy hand grenade couldn't solve for us. <laughs> the holiest of hand grenades. Uh, give me another one. Because that's going to be a double kill. Oh, I think we exploded ourselves. That is, was not so clever, Saiken. But again, nothing that a little bit of healing couldn't undo. Yeah. Learned your lesson. Move up. We <clears throat> Another falls to the knights of Titan. Yes, Well, that was a pretty good attack overall. Killed them in an instance. I will hold them here. On the 
Very good. I sense the enemy converging. Oh, the big boy. Do they have? Do they bring seats at least? Did they bring seats at least? The answer is no. Yeah. They couldn't be bothered. They no could not be bothered. So using our remaining disruptor skulls just so that we can make a point here. of services calls. Face my fury. And sure. Let's get this guy. What is your will? This should disable the plague shield and no longer make him immune to cover fire. I'm going to see if it worked. Yep, it worked. My blade is yours. Kill this guy. You have been judged. Fantastic. Moving swiftly. All right, let's crit him. Come on. Good crit. The damage output of this team is quite phenomenal. I mean, that's the first time that we're needing to use a Halo Skull, just so that we're on the safe My side. Armor break, crazed, blinded. I think we're just permanently reducing it. Somewhere. In case we're needing to go through it next turn again. More hits. Hits and I think we oh, we can even down this guy. Down. Lol. Okay. Cool. 
Cool. Yeah, we killed all of them. Every single one of the reinforcements in one turn. <laughs> Which is really killed all of them in one turn. It's a good team. It's a very good team. I like the team comp uh, composition. It worked out uh, very well for us, but it is also time to move on to another one. Our new team composition from now on will be the Stunomancers, uh, a team that is focusing on stun damage, really. Good. We got only 12. I was hoping we would get a few more seeds because uh, those are rare. Uh, rad grenade. Um, bleed 7. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a grenade, I suppose. Not super uh, psyched about it. This one here is nice. Uh, could get up to 20 range. And has 20% crit chance. Decent uh, base damage. So I think we're going to take this one. Uh, Casey Walker. Four strike is higher crit. And we're looking at the crit upgrade of plus three. So it's really crit staff. And a lot of focus. This might be good for for characters that require a lot of focus. To be fair, uh, this is not a willpower staff, but it is one that for instance a librarian could use because he's regenerating willpower with that thanks to eye of the storm i like the general idea i'll pick it for now and the grenade as well just to get it out of the grenade pool uh, over here we got uh, more service goals and more range would be okay as an armor uh, if it had an additional service school um, equipment slot. Good, and we really got all of them to max level. Here we're going to use plus one auto, which in this case will be the extra reload. I'm not sure if we really need uh, the taunt or if we're just going with plus two willpower, which I think is the safer uh, choice. We could go into crushing charge, but really even that is not needed for this team composition. Epi did uh, well. Respinator, on the other hand, could either get plus two on the grenades or uh, get the plus one use for all autos, which is good for extra reload. I like that. And it's also good for the mental focus. So this is a very, very, very good uh, note. Uh, we could use return fire. Uh, we're seldomly under fire is uh, what I'm noticing. Uh, so gaining that extra one ammo for grenades just gives him a free grenade. Uh, that's not bad at all. We could also go for uh, for um, to willpower, yeah, I think that it's it's fine. We're good. So over here we do have uh, support fire, which is good. This one here upgrades the crit damage of our weapon. This is very much needed, and this would have been great as well. But I think we're sticking with the crit damage. We can remove cover with grenades. 
and our interceptor just gets the passive uh, of not losing AP when teleporting, which isn't bad as well. So that was the ranged fire support team. They made it to level nine. Overall, uh, good uh, combination. I think not a bad team per se. Not a bad team per se. The melee one or the melee power ball is still stronger, but this one is a decent uh, team. We're flying over, are getting the team nice and ready. All right, so we got some decent equipment. Maybe the war gear will be fine. I'm typically not going to go for level two equipment, um, but this might be also an easy mission. Are we going to do it without master crafted weapons and armor? That's a good question. I think the answer is no because we don't need the requisition that that bit. We already get two requisition. Five would of course be better, but there isn't anything that we would grab. So let me introduce you to our new team, which is the power ball, which is the power ball of doom. And let me equip it. All right, just want to lead you through our team. So we're running the advanced or special classes team, Paladin, Chaplain, Purifier, Librarian. And it's going to be a bit of a different team. I call this <coughs> the stun uh, team or the stun focus team. I know, not a very creative name, but uh, it's going to be the stunninators from now on. So the Paladin is focused slightly on uh, ranged. Uh, we're going to get a little bit more just so that we do have a 50% chance to gain an extra AP, but the point is more the melee uh, focus here. The Paladin himself has this one here, uh, which uh, he can, whenever he four strikes, get one additional stun. So that in itself is great. So imagine two stun per hit. Of course, if you put the Apothecary onto it, that would be even more, but it's maybe not even needed. So um, bear with me for a second. Uh, ranged Bolter is okay, but won't be the main source of damage. This Paladin here will be running Blessing of Faith, okay? And Blessing of Faith um, does have two uh, items to it. Number one, it has pushback, which is cool but more so <clears throat> whenever we're knocking uh, someone with that hammer, the knock will be plus two stun. So it, every single melee attack therefore has four stun, which is crazy good. I like that. And he's, he's already using, instead of extra damage, it's extra stun, uh, essentially, which is cool. So appreciate uh, that a lot. Um, then, uh, as an armor, we have the armor that allows you to uh, spend hit points instead of uh, instead of um, actual uh, will points. We have the disruptor skull just so that we can deal with a couple of um, enemy maneuvers. We got uh, Roby Rogan, uh, our chaplain, who is Roby Rogan, uh, who will be running a. Um, armor that uh, gives us two extra ammo on grenades and a bigger cone so instead of one this is 2.5 which is great he does have empyrean brine uh, brain mine unfortunately we don't have the tier 3 versions of these bad boys these are only quote unquote plus three stun i assume that the version 3 is plus five or plus six stun maybe even more maybe nine stun uh, but that would be a bit too much anyways uh, the ability of uh, the chaplain will be to put the litany of hate out there and each knight who executes an enemy gains an additional AP so the guy who executes gains two instead of one AP and it uh, can be used three times 
per round. Three times per round. <clears throat> Very good. Cool. So that will be his contribution. If he executes someone, Triumph of Glory will also give everybody one AP. That is what this weapon is doing. So the um, chaplain and the paladin are the stun brothers who are going to go in. The purifier um, is not really fitting that well into the uh, team. Potentially if we would do max stun, we uh, rather take an apothecary, but I don't want to optimize the team comp. I want to play with a new character. So what we're going to do with him is he does have uh, from his normal ability tree an extra slot for grenades, extra um, range and uh, extra ammo. So Epirian Brain Mines is a no-brainer here as we're just going to stack more stun on top of stun on top of stun. Extract the Servicer School <clears throat> so that we can get uh, harvest seeds. And his job really is to throw a couple of those mines as well as shoot with his gun. In terms of uh, the gun, we are uh, going to go with a silencer, and I think I think we might be taking this bad boy here for a ride. Five damage, extra damage against demonic creatures. Seems like a good uh, deal, and also extra crit chance against demonic creatures. So uh, that he will be. Uh, basically the DPS against larger targets and then we do have uh, our new librarian Ger Jiro. Uh, Jiro uh, is going to help us and I specifically with the abilities like went completely not into the OP um, teleportation stuff but went for stunning, which arguably is also OP, but it fits the theme of this team. So we have um, the ability once per turn to stun up to, what it, if they are clustered, two, three enemies for five, which is great. But his main contribution will be the Psyborger Discipline, where he has plus three critical damage on the Psyborgers, and therefore the ranged weapon is ultra important. So for his ranged weapon, we're going to have a Psyborger uh, called Soul Hammer that is going to add two extra stun to the ranged attack. So uh, that means we're running at uh, three stun uh, per uh, Bolter attack, which is great. Uh, so it, as you can see, it further generates even more stun and oh wait uh, i'm just realizing it that's actually plus three stun so we're generating four stun with every single shot of the soul hammer that is awesome and we do have i think on you the bolter that allows to have crits on individual body parts so there's theoretically even more stun with uh, the apostase woe as a bolter. So that's really the idea behind the team. Uh, we got a Halo Skull here as stratagems. We're running the new word of the Emperor. Three stun to all enemies. Uh, we are compensating for the lack of teleportation. Te technically we wouldn't need to use that, but I find the teleportation so OP that we're going to downgrade it to Gate of Infinity and this is only here for convenience purposes in combat not often uh, used or not that great of a use. Anyways, then we got heal because we don't have a specific healer and just in case we need to do something for a longer period of time we got uh, the good old High Sanctuary which is a stratagem that I have close and dear to my heart. Going to get um, one requisition here, can't really invest that into anything meaningfully uh, two requisitions sorry can't invest it meaningfully but we can have a great mission and we're going to tune in the next time when we're going to try to um, uh, to liberate iteras uh, with the new stun brothers team take care and have a good one bye bye oh before i forget if you want to stun someone try like punching that like button really hard and let me know if you had finally managed to stun it Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.